Time to light up the night. But for all that's holy and sweet, please drink responsibly. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 drinking games. So the over. sport of kings! I don't want to play Edward Forty Hands. I was going to say darts, but Edward Forty Hands it is! Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at some of the best games that'll liven up the party and get your buzz going. Though drinking games can be a whole lot of fun, please remember that moderation is key. Number 10. Straight Face If you're the giggly kind of drunk, this game might be close to impossible for you to win. Simply grab a writing utensil and a few sheets of paper and have everyone write down something that might make the other participants laugh. Then, when you've got your golden line of comedy ready, have someone else read it out loud. Those who so much as giggle or smirk must take a drink. We'd suggest trying to fill your head with sad and sobering thoughts, but after you've lost a couple of rounds, well, it's only gonna get harder. What is a human bath mat? It's that thing of when, like, midgets have dreadlocks and they lay face down on the floor. Should you lose, prepare for a hangover with the added curveball of a sore face. Number 9. Movie Drinking Games You know, that's not half bad. I'm gonna have to think up a name for that. At some point, you have to try one of the many movie drinking games on the internet, once you're of legal drinking age, that is. Simply choose a movie with your friends and settle on a variation of rules. The number of rules will depend on how classic your movie is and the number of memorable moments, quirks, and catchphrases. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! Word of advice, when drinking to movies like The Room, Star Wars, or the James Bond films, maybe leave a few rules out. Otherwise, you might find yourself feeling the alcohol far too early in the film. Admiral, we have enemy ships in Sector 47. It's a trap! Number 8. Bullshit. This card game is great for big groups. Supporting up to 10 players, bullshit starts with the distributing of an entire deck of cards among the players. Hmm? What did she say? I didn't quite hear. Did mm -hmm. you guys, I didn't hear what she said. What I did said, you say? Bullshit! Oh, yeah. <laughs> she knows how to play the game, don't you? Yes, yes, sir. After agreeing on a card to start on, whoever has said card begins by playing it face up. Each player takes turns placing a card or multiple cards face down, claiming their played card is in the correct numerical order. If someone suspects a player has played an incorrect card, they claim bullshit. You're a dead man, John! Bullshit! If their claim is correct, the offender takes a drink. It comes with the job. I can accept it. Bullshit. If not, the accuser drinks. The job's real. The agency set it up. Bullshit. <laughs> the game continues until one player uses all of their cards. There are many variations out there, including a cardless one, meaning there's endless fun to be had. Number 7. Most Likely This particular drinking game is best enjoyed with a group of old friends. Each round, one person asks who would be the most likely to do a specific act or say a certain phrase, kind of like the most likely two titles awarded in a high school yearbook. Guys, in high school I was voted most likely to have the best eyes. <laughs> That's just not true. Within a few fast seconds, everyone must point to the person who they think would be the most likely candidate. I was voted most likely to succeed on my chess club. Then, whoever has the most fingers pointed at them must take a drink. Yeah, they'll likely protest and deny it, but hey, in this game, majority rules. Be warned, you might be shocked to discover just what your friends think of you. Number 6. Never Have I Ever Everyone has led a different life and experienced different things. It's part of what makes us human. It's also why we play the classic game Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever sexted. Each player takes turns stating something they've never done. Feel free to go as simplistic or crazy as you want. Those who have experienced it must take a drink. This can lead to some interesting or insanely weird conversations, both with friends you thought you knew everything about and people you've just met. Hey, being an open book can get you places. I never gave a reach around to a spider monkey while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, God! Number 5. Quarters Need something less talkative? Not in the mood to break out the playing cards? Got some loose change lying around? Quarters is easy to set up, easy to learn, but damn hard to master. Ideally made for two to four players, quarters involves each player bouncing a quarter into a glass or cup set in the middle. Like that. Yeah. 
If the player makes it in, they choose a player who has to drink. They can do this up to three times in a row if they make all three shots. If they fail, play passes to the next player. Like that? <laughs> wow, yeah, I mean, beginner's luck. There are many variations of the rules, as well as many different versions, but quarters is great if you want something that requires more skill. Number four, slap cup. Please don't take this literally. You aren't slapping cups full of beer. Too messy. Gather a good number of cups in the center of the table, with the center cup being filled with the most beer. Yeah, it's similar to another popular drinking game, but it's a different set of rules. You and a teammate stand at opposite ends of the table. The opponent next to you must toss a ball into one of their cups. If they make it in, you must take a drink from that cup. Play keeps going until only the center cup remains. Should your opponent make it to the center first, you best be prepared to guzzle the whole thing down. Number three, flip cup. No, this is not a variation of the last entry deriving from a similar drinking game known as Boat Races. All right, Pete, you done Boat Race, right? No. Just drink the f beer just, and you'll get the hang of it. I've got it. I it will find it. doesn't matter who's winning. Flip Cup involves two teams of four, with each player given their own drink. Starting at one end, each teammate must finish their drink in a red solo cup and then flip the cup upside down. The next teammate cannot start their turn until the former has finished, requiring a hefty amount of speed and energy. This may not be a game for slow drinkers or the uncoordinated. Number two, King's Cup. To play King's Cup, form a circle with your friends and place a cup in the center of it. Then place any number of cards around the cup and every player takes turns drawing a card. Each card is assigned to a specific rule, which can differentiate depending on how you play, but they mostly involve giving drinks or dividing drinks up. Some will even require you to do actions, but again, there are many different sets of rules you can play by. You already know the rules. Because there are in Denny! Jeez, Dennis, are you on coke? The king card is the most fun, though, allowing the player to invent a new rule. Number one, beer pong. Ah, yes, the granddaddy of drinking games. If you've been to, well, any house party, chances are you've seen a group of people playing this. The rules are simple. Two teams have anywhere from six to 10 cups on opposite ends of the table. They each take turns tossing ping pong balls into each other's cups. If one player makes it into one of the cups, the other must take a drink. I give you beer pong. It's easy to learn, quick to liven up the party, and a classic drinking game for anyone to have fun with. Be warned though, there are some real beer pong pros out there. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.